Hi, this is Paul City Sailing, uh, part of the offshore safety course um, videos. I want to talk about dismasting. Um, did a short clip here of a, uh, a bay with about 60 knots. Um, one way to dismast is to roll your boat. And this short clip here, uh, the boat gets caught by the wave, rolls and comes back up. Um, and luckily they come back with the mast up, but all too easy in that situation um, for the mast not to come back up. On here, they've had a rig failure. Most dismastings come from a rig failure. Um, most people think you need to cut the rig down, bolt croppers. Um, the main problem is how do you clear the rig? Um, here, as of quite a few dismastings, the top of the mast has folded and come back on the boat. Um, and it's really difficult to clear. So they're trying to clear the jib. Um, the jib's caught in the, uh, the tough luff there. Um, they're getting assistance to try and clear it, but it's all in the water, it's dragging. Um, with your mast, as it's uh, probably going to be keel-stepped, it's not going to fall, it's not going to go clear. So you're going to have to clear it. Here they're clearing the uh, uh, the jib, um, pulling it away, they've got assistance. Um, they're quite lucky here because the sea isn't too rough, um, so they can get on and work with the boat. Luckily, I've only had one dismasting, and that was about 50 miles off Lanzarote. Um, the cat shroud went, and the top part of the mast folded over. Um, it was just above the water. Um, I managed to lash it on the side. It took me about three hours um, to clear the jib and to cut the jib free, and that included going in the water um, to clear the jib um, and get everything safe, getting it on deck, and um, getting it clear, the propeller and the prop. And we were lucky enough then to motor the 50 miles into Lanzarote and to clear it away. Um, I didn't need bowl croppers. I didn't need um, hacksaws. Uh, when the mast comes down, it tends to be, um, all the rig tends to go slack. So I really suggest a decent set of pliers um, to uh, straighten the pins out and a screwdriver and a hammer to take the pins out. So we managed to uh, recover the whole rig, um, just taking the pins out and looking after it. And we were quite lucky because the sea was quite flat. And you can see here, it is actually wedged in there and it's really difficult for them to uh, get the rig out. On this vessel here, the mast came down during the night. Um, they were further offshore and we can see the mast has snapped at deck level. But you can see the end of the mast sticking up, boom on the deck and the whole rig jib mainsail is in the water. Um, in some ways, they're quite lucky that the, uh, there's not a huge swell. If there'd been a huge swell here, um, there's a chance of that end of the mast um, puncturing the side of the boat or the bottom of the boat and damaging it. Here, you've got to um, clear the mast. It isn't as easy as it looks because you've got all those halyards in there, those wires in there. They've got to be cut. You've got the, uh, um, the shrouds, forestay, backstay, knock the pins out of there. In this situation here, you're not going to be able to pull that on board. You're going to have to clear the whole lot and unfortunately just ditch it over the side because the damage and the potential damage and injury to the crew is just too high. On this clip here, you can see a catamaran um, powering along, then bang, the whole lot goes. So there was no notice here, nothing given. Um, it just went bang. It looks like the cap shroud went a whole lot over the side. And again, it's held on by... Um, the stays and the halyards and the wires and it's all going to have to be cut away um, and put over the side. Um, with the catamaran there's a lot of um, power there because you can't really judge with the heel of the boat so you could just put more power on it's harder to judge. Um, pop over the side and all this lot is um, in the water. They're quite lucky that again there's not a huge swell because the swell this whole lot's going to be pushing against the side. So from my experience and what I've researched um, they're all going to be different. The hard thing is going to be clearing away, um, making sure that there's no um, damage and no crew are injured, um, and uh, making sure that the boat's, boat's safe and try and get to a safe position. So this is the sort of stuff that we discuss on the uh, offshore safety course. Um, this is Paul, City Sailing. Um, thanks very much for watching. Uh, we'll see you on the next video. Cheers.